to my channel. So I have a lot of my friends ask me how I got my first 100 subscribers and to them I said consistency and hard work, of course. But everyone knows that only uploading consistently and having a good upload schedule and blah 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 hardly gets you that many subscribers. So me being me, I decided to make a video on how to get your first 100 subscribers as a small YouTuber in 2022. I'll start with the more basic tips and then make my way onto tips that are a little more uncommon. Make sure to stick around till the end and you might find something useful and notice your mistakes. But before we start, I would really appreciate if you could scroll down for a second and click that subscribe button down there so I can make more content like this. Since we couldn't reach our subscription goal last year, let's try to reach 300 subscribers in a few months. Each press means the world to me. It's all free and that brings me to my first tip. Tip 1. Ask people to subscribe to you. There's no shame in asking people to subscribe to you, but your audience will only subscribe when they think you're making quality content that's exceptional to your channel and only your channel and that no one can get anywhere else. Pop on trends and give them your own twist and try new types of videos. Tip 2. The thumbnail and the title. Now, I think everyone can agree with me here. Nobody knows that your content is good unless they click on it. And what entices viewers to click on your video? The thumbnail and the title. There's tons of videos and information out there on how to make good titles and thumbnails, so definitely do your research, but the main bulletins of making your title and thumbnail are your title should contain keywords, and you can have keywords in your thumbnails too. Try to shorten your titles and put in your thumbnail. The goal is to make your titles and thumbnails mysterious, yet promise the viewers something you will deliver in the video so that they click on your next videos as well. If you're looking for apps to make your thumbnails, a really famous online website for beginners you can use is canva.com and I'll link in the description box down below if you're interested. Tip 3. Know your analytics. A very important analytic that you might not know about is click-through rate or CTR. Long story short, if your videos have a high click-through rate, then YouTube will start recommending that video to a broader audience, which will make your impressions go up. But it's really hard to get people to click on your video because there is a ton of competition on YouTube, which brings me back to my tip 2, which is having a good title and thumbnail. Tip 4. Having good channel keywords. Now, this is one tip that isn't related to your videos. If you go to your channel customization and then go to settings and click channel, there is a section where you can add keywords for your channel. This feature can expose your channel to a vast majority of people who are maybe just searching for Roblox or Minecraft content. Apps and extensions like TubeBuddy and vidIQ have a keyword tool which can help you decide and format the best keywords for your channel so that the next time someone searches up gaming or any other content type or words, your channel might just show up as one of the channel search results, possibly getting your channel a click and a potentially new subscriber. Now time for the best but most effective tip that I've been following for the past weeks, which may or may not be the reason I've not been uploading so consistently. Tip 5. Momentum. Now, I said in the intro that consistency isn't everything and I might look like I'm contradicting myself right now and debating with myself, but it does play a really important role. And if you don't agree with me, it's likely you haven't fully experienced the benefits of being consistent. And now I advise you to take some time off creating and use that time to do research. Research on whatever fields you want and that you're struggling with on YouTube. Personally, I've compiled a document with all the tips and personal experience I have and it's proving to be pretty effective. Now, if you made it till the end, you're in luck because I'm sharing with you a little extra something. It's some apps and websites I use myself and so do bigger YouTubers. As I mentioned in the video, there's TubeBuddy, vidIQ and Canva. But did you also know that having social media can be a really big advantage if you're a creator on YouTube? Yep, if you don't have an Instagram and Twitter account already, I'd encourage you to make one. Shameless plug in, go follow me on mine. Being on other social media platforms and linking your channel on all of them can help new people find your channel and get you more views and subscribers. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If this video helps you, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or anyone you know who is trying to grow their channel. Let's all start 2022 with fresh and positive energy. 
and new motivation and I'll see you guys on the flip side in my next upload. Peace out.